Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a review on my Speedy Bandolier in the size 30. This is the bag. It does come in four different sizes. It comes in the 25, the 30, 35, and 40. I chose the 30 because I carry a lot of stuff and I feel that the 25 kind of doesn't really doesn't seem to hold as much and the mouth on it isn't as big therefore I have trouble getting stuff in and out. Um, I did pick this in the monogram canvas which is um, the regular canvas that has the LVs all over it and the flower type things on it. Um, it comes in Damier Abin, Damier Azur and it does come in a few of the other prints um, but this one was is my favorite. Uh, every Louis Vuitton that I have is in the monogram canvas. I know I need to get some other ones so that there's like a pop of color, but so far this is all that I have. It is attached by these Vachetta leather um, little things with the handles, the ones that go on the crook of your arm. I do have the older one. They just came out with a newer one. So I have the older one that has the, what is that, four, yeah, the four stitches down here. The new one I think has like five or six, maybe a little bit more. And I don't really care for that because I know a lot of the fakes have more stitching and I've never really liked, I don't really like it when they change stuff, but it's attached by these little, I don't know, screws maybe. And they say Louis Vuitton around them. And there's one on each of them. And I believe on the inside as well, it does say the Louis Vuitton there also. And it has the Vachetta on the inside as well where it attaches. This bag also has the Vachetta on the sides. It's on both sides of the bag. And instead of there being the Vachetta little corner piece that the regular Speedies have, this actually has these little brass pieces and that's where the strap attaches. So let me just take these off. The strap was the reason actually that I really wanted this purse because I do have a Speedy 25 that I've had for 11 years and um, I don't really use it very much anymore. I used to use it all the time so it's really dark but I stopped using it because I just carry too much stuff. So and then I got a Speedy 30 after that about three years after that I think um, and I couldn't use that one as much because once I had a child, because I have two children now, um, once I had my first daughter, I would want to carry all my stuff and carry her, but I couldn't because it didn't have a handle. And I know you can buy the, the straps that go on here and here, but I didn't like the way it pulled on it, and I didn't really want it to leave the black marks on here or to stretch out my purse. So when they came out with this, I was really excited, although I didn't buy it, and I wish I would have because it would have been a lot cheaper. But anyway, you can remove these straps and you can carry it as a regular Speedy. And the strap is like this. And it has three pieces, as you can see. Um, when I, I carry it on the long one, and um, that is great as a crossbody or hangs really low. I'm 5'5", five five, so it sit, sits like um, right at my shoulder. It has these little clasp thing on here like this, it's really easy to use, and it says Louis Vuitton on each side. And it's got um, three holes on each section, so you can choose the size that you want, the length that you want. It does only have one of these little holder things on the one, one of them, but the other one has two. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I've seen some other reviews and people say that theirs is bending and everything, but mine hasn't. Might be because it's only six months old, but so far I don't have a problem. But it just clips on these really easy. On either side. See? And you can remove the middle strap and it makes it about that long. And then it makes it a really great shoulder strap. And that hangs about a little bit above my hip if I do it like that. I don't find it to be very comfortable, but I think that that's because I carry too much stuff. Um, this also has two zipper pulls as the regular speedies only have one. But this one has two and it doesn't have the Vachetta leather on it. Instead it has two of these brass pulls. And I just put my lock on here. I never really, I don't close my bag very often, but if I do, I'll just use one, one zipper. So, and the zippers on these are really nice. 
um, inside is um, just the regular canvas, and mine is packed pretty full. It has the one D-ring, which you can just hang a few things on. It's got the little brass D-ring on there. And it has one pocket. It's the same size as the other Speedies, so it's about like that. Mine holds quite a bit. I can put my iPhone in there, no problem, just like that. I also have like, I can put pens, full-size pens, lip gloss, and a few other things in there along with my phone. So that's what I carry in there. It does have the LVs upside down on this other side. Um, I used to be told a lot that if LVs are cut off, it's fake. But I purchased this bag at Louis Vuitton and they are cut off and it is not fake. And it should also be upside down on one side because it is one piece of canvas all the way across. I recently for Valentine's Day purchased the luggage tag and I got it hot stamped right here. I got the small one because I felt like the big one kind of overpowered the bag and I got a bandeau. These are the first things that I've ever put on a bag ever, but I think that they make them really pretty and I really like them. And I like to see other people's bags decorated and where they put everything. It's kind of fun for me. I also had my purse hot stamped on here. Let me unhook this to show you because this is a problem. If you can see that, the top is not indented very well. The bottom two are indented perfect. Um, I took it in to have it done. They said they normally don't do it on here, but they did it for me. Um, the first time they did it, they completely messed it up and gave me a whole new strap. So they did it again, and they said that if this top ends up coming off, they'll give me a whole new strap, but I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen. <laughs> and I also had my bag hot stamped over here. I found a store that actually does it in the store and doesn't have to send it off. So I really like this because I always wanted my bag to be hot stamped. Um, that's about it. I, uh, there is the size. They put it here. It used to be under the little flaps, but they put it there now. And then the date code is under the flap inside. I don't know if you can see that, but mine is right there. Also, <laughs> my purse is made in the USA. So on the side of mine, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, but the made in is actually inside. And it's right here on this. It's made in the USA of imported materials. I don't care for that because I like it to be stamped on the bag. And all my other made in the USA, they were stamped on the bag. So, but that's about it. This is my favorite bag and I've been using it almost every single day for six months. I know if anybody follows me on Instagram, it's pretty much the purse that you see all the time for right now because it is my favorite and it does hold pretty much everything. Um, and... Another thing, you can carry this over your shoulder, crossbody, or on the crook of your arm. But since I wear it like this, where it does crossbody, if I wear it on the crook of my arm, because I don't like to take the, the uh, strap off, I just put it in the middle. And that's pretty cool. And then you can carry it like this, and it doesn't really get in the way, and you can still open your bag perfect. And, and it keeps it out of the way so it doesn't get caught on anything. But that's it. Um, that was my first review, and this is actually my first video. So I hope it was okay. I tried to go over anything that I like to see on a bag. Um, please make sure to click the like button if you liked it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave that below. I'm also going to link my Instagram account. Hope everyone has a great day.